County Executive Jessica Fitzwater delivered her annual State of the County Address at the new Middletown Library. The 15,000 square foot facility located on East Green Street has quickly become a hub for residents with its modern amenities and scenic views of the Middletown Valley. During her address, Fitzwater reflected on the county's achievements and shared stories from residents whose lives have been enriched by local services. I think tonight went really well. It's such a privilege to be able to talk about all the great things that we're accomplishing in partnership here in Frederick County. I am just extremely grateful to be able to be county executive at a time where we're working with so many members of the community on so many great initiatives. During the speech, she unveiled her vision for the future, outlining three major initiatives designed to strengthen the community. County Executive Fitzwater's first initiative focuses on enhancing career and technical education for Frederick County Public Schools. A steering committee has been formed to assess the current career and technical programs and facilities with plans to develop a career and technical education strategic master plan. The goal is to create a world-class CTE program that prepares students for the workforce with the skills needed for high-demand jobs. Right now, our Career and Technology Center with FCPS has to turn hundreds of students away because of space. We also are seeing with the Blueprint for Maryland's Future a real focus on career development, career counseling, apprenticeships, and workforce development. So this is just the right time to think outside of the box and really bring the right stakeholders together to figure out how we can do career and technical education even better in Frederick County. This initiative aims to bridge the gap between education and career readiness benefiting students and local industries. The second initiative announced by the county executive introduces a first-of-its-kind transit hub on the Golden Mile, where Waverly Drive meets Route 40. Designed to improve rider safety and convenience, the hub will feature covered waiting areas, enhanced lighting, and real-time bus arrival information. We're so excited about this new transit facility, which will be located on the Golden Mile, an area where we have the most transit service in our entire system. There are six routes that serve this location, and this provides the highest level of service throughout the county. Our new transfer hub will have covered waiting areas, real-time signage, and seating, as well as additional space for more passengers as our system continues to grow. This facility will serve as the busiest stop in Frederick's transit system, providing access to riders in the western part of the county. The hub is a significant step toward making public transportation more reliable and accessible for everyone. The third initiative sets a new goal to double the amount of preserved agricultural and forested land in Frederick County. County Executive Jessica Fitzwater announced a plan to increase preserved land from the 80,000 acres that are protected today to 160,000 acres by 2051. With the goal of increasing our permanently preserved land, that guarantees that for future generations we will have that land in perpetuity. That land can never be rezoned or redeveloped and so that's really exciting, especially as we're trying to get the next generation into agriculture, knowing that there is a place for them to come back and farm. This goal will ensure the preservation of Frederick's rural landscape for future generations, balancing growth while maintaining the county's natural beauty and agricultural heritage.